Alation Tool Reviews Hello. In this third video of the Alation Tool Review series, we will look at the overall layout of the Alation Tool. As mentioned previously, Alation is available both on prem as well as a SaaS offering. What you see here is a SaaS offering offered to us by Alation. I'll go ahead and sign in. The landing page is actually a page with a branding option. The place where you see Alation University, we can easily place the company's logo to brand this as an organization's data catalog landing page. On the main page, you will see some quick links to browse data sources, search tables, user database credentials, write SQL, and write article. Now note, I'm logging in in Alation as a server admin, and hence, most of these options are enabled for me. There could be a chance if you are logging in with a different role, you may or may not see all the options enabled, especially user database credentials and all those things. On the left hand side, on the hamburger menu, we see a quick access bar where we can look at all the data sources that have been configured so far. So if you look at this, you can see there's data sources like FDA, Juno Analytics. These are like sample data sources that Alation has helped us populate. If I click on this, you can see a hash map or entity data source, which we have uploaded and we'll walk through it in a minute. Similarly, we have file systems browser where we can see what are the file systems that we have kind of configured. Yes, we have configured a file system to read web sales from Azure Blobs. Uh, we have a quick uh, menu to show the queries that have been published, who has published those queries and get an access to those. We have quick article review thing and then BI sources. We also are looking at some other menu options here on the top right. The first menu option that I'll expand is an apps menu option. You can see a Compose app. This Compose app is a SQL editor provided by Alation. It has intelligence based in it and can help or boost productivity for a developer as well as an analyst. Using Compose app, we can also write policies which can be pushed down to the databases. Then we see glossaries. This app is designed to create curate glossary terms for various domains. Now glossaries, as I had explained, is nothing but a collection of articles under a particular heading or a domain. Domains per se is a business area that has been described in an article. Domains can be attached to different glossaries or different Alation objects. Sources, this app enables us to link different sources for metadata extraction. Sources such as databases, file systems, BIs, and any custom databases as well. The Govern app will help us look at the different policies through Policy Center. It will help us create different workflows, and it will also help us view a governance dashboard, which can give you an overall progress of the governance process or data curation process and its impact on the business. Going back to the apps menu, if you look at the curate option, this is a nice option where one can look at the stewardship dashboards where if I'm a steward, I know the actions that are been assigned, assigned to me. I know the data sources that I have endorsed. I can get a list of all the conversations that I have been that where I have been tagged. Curation progress is all about how many data sources have been endorsed and how many data sources are still pending 
to be endorsed or tagged with certain tags or tagged to a domain and so on and so forth. Catalog activity is about what is going on with the overall catalog that has been defined. Assign stewards is assigning stewards to certain articles, certain domains and certain tasks that are out there. Titles and descriptions are about the different glossaries and all those things and catalog sets are a group of articles or alation objects which we can do certain mass update operations on. So these are the different apps that are offered by Alation. And then we have a settings menu, which is normally an admin setting. Again, because I'm a server admin, most of these settings have been enabled for me. If your role is just a catalog admin, you may probably not see these enabled for yourself. On the server admin, I can configure users, their authentication methods, the email servers to reply to, I can look at user profiles or upload them in bulk. Like if I'm doing an onboarding, I can just get 10, 15 stewards profiles uploaded in a bulk, bulk compose settings as to how my queries and all those things should be formulated. Updates to this software if it's an on-prem, if it's a SaaS offering, that's an auto push. Feature configurations, what features to enable and what not to enable. Uh, customizing the home page, the branding, as we talked about, the logo you can place on the top of the entry page, encryption keys for uh, managing the encryption keys uh, for the Alation as such, not the data, the licenses, reporting, logging, and other things. Catalog admin, as I said, catalogs, they are sets of related data objects for bulk editing. We can customize the catalog, we can group things, and then we have a lexicon, which is nothing but an engine to match the abbreviations and suggest the long titles i mean lexicon works along with their ali robot to suggest titles for different alation objects or terms we can monitor the use of alation as in who are the online users who have logged in what are the message queues out there what are the completed tasks and overall health of the system these are the options that are available to you from the settings menu. Alation also has a nice help center where you will get documentation about how to use Alation. Alation in addition also has a developer help center where you get information about all the APIs, how to configure them, how to call them and use it with the tool. There are release notes and then there is information about this instance. You can look at the inbox, which can be directed from the conversations or emails directly sent to you on the Alation platform. And obviously you can look at your own user profile and account settings. So this is what the overall Alation tool looks like. Left hand side hamburger menu, the apps menu, the settings menu and the help menu. Hashmap Megabytes.